This is a deliverance prayer I would like to guide you through. And this is for those who understand the scriptural basics for deliverance, the basis we've walked through thus far in previous videos. You've committed your life to Christ, of course, and you've confessed your known sins and sins of your ancestors to him. You've renounced the occult, whether it was through family line or you yourself were in the occult. You have gotten rid of all things, all objects that represent the occult and are opposed to the kingdom. That could be tribal masks, statues and busts of dead secular artists, so on and so forth. Movies, music, books, photos, posters, rings from secret societies, all of it, clothes, anything, any contact object, you've gotten rid of it. You know uh, that Jesus is your healer, your deliverer, and that he will see you through this, okay? So you pray with me. You pray, Jesus, you're the Son of God and the only way to God. I believe you died on the cross as a curse that I might be redeemed from the curse. You rose again and in freedom from death, giving me the inheritance to do the same. I confess my sins and sins of my ancestors. I forgive them. I forgive myself. And I forgive anyone who ever did me harm or wronged me. I forgive them. I renounce all occult contact and I commit to rid my life of all contact objects. Show me Holy Spirit where anything is left that must be gotten rid of. Now, having received your forgiveness, Jesus, by faith, as a child of God, I release myself and those under my authority from any curse over our lives right now. I declare release and receive it, Jesus, in your name, Jesus. You know each and every specific problem I have that I bring to you, Jesus each and every problem. I'm asking you to deliver me from each and every struggle, each and every addiction, each and everything I struggle with in my sin nature, God. Please deliver me now, God. Please deliver me, King Jesus, from the kingdom of darkness to your kingdom of light, fully full of your light and your way and your word. Let it take root in me that every single curse and every single addiction, every struggle I have, God, you take it out by the roots now, Lord. Take it out by the roots that I might become an oak of righteousness in your name and to your glory. In your name and to your glory, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> 